and welcome back to Ormsby Farm. My name is Casey. So on today's video, I'm taking you into my pantry um, to show you what I've canned so far. I'm super, super excited and super proud of what we've grown this year so far and what we've canned. Now there's still a lot of canning that I'm gonna be doing um, probably throughout this week of hot sauces. Um, I'm doing some soups and some canned meat, but I wanted to give you a little kind of walkthrough of what my pantry looks like right now. First year on the homestead, first year pantry. If that is something that interests you, stick around. I'm coming home. Alrighty, so we're in the pantry. Now, see i still have some empty jars i'm gonna be doing a lot of soup canning coming up um i am doing some homemade hot sauce with my peppers and i'm also going to be doing some more fruit in um syrups but till then i think i've got it pretty stocked i'm so excited and so proud of what i've done this year from our harvest so i'm gonna start at the very bottom so this is one of the older ones but it was from a year but it's butternut squash soup, and this is where most of my soups will be put. Um, right there in the back is, I'm doing some uh, uh, pear scrap uh, vinegar. So, I'm having that let it sit till about probably March of next year, and then I'll put a lid on it. Um, it's doing really good. Um, right here on this level, I've got some pear cider. I love pear cider. And let me see if I can actually talk and do things at the same time. Um, so uh, the pear cider, I like to have it, one, for gifts, but also during the holiday to heat it up and even just have it that way. Or you can add your favorite adult beverage to it. And it's a great little holiday treat. So I have uh, about five quarts and a pint of the pear cider. And that goes a long way. Yeah? Um, like this, I'll heat up and even add some more water to it. Um, and it probably lasts for a whole dinner, for a dinner of four or dinner for six. Um, right here is it's pear juice. I juiced a lot of the pears. Um, have you watched on one of my videos? And the pear juice is so delicious. It is so, so super yummy. Um, I can have it as a juice, or um, I also have it canned just in case I want to make some pear uh, jelly. Um, and you make that from the juice. So I have three quarts of that here. And then onto all of my pears and water. Now, pears are just sweet enough for me. I did not want to add any syrup. So all of these are our pears and I can them in water. And I have um, a mixture of quarts and pints of it. Um, I slices. I have some half pears too. This was from last year when we uh, first bought the homestead and I got to get the pears. Um, and those are really good to add some sour cream and cheddar cheese as a little salad to it. Um, I'm trying to see the back there. I have some apple um, in water. Oh, peaches in water too. This is from the peaches from the tree from last year. And then I have pear and um, well, this is the pear sauce right here. I did a pear sauce and I did an apple sauce, which is delicious. And because it was so hard to find apple juice last year, I actually canned the leftover of the um, apple juice that I used to make um, some pie filling, which I will show you in a minute. And then right here, this looks probably crazy, but yes, it is just pickled juice. There are no pickles in it, but I use this for marinade. It is some of the best marinade. You marinate with chicken or anything. I do it with chicken, and it tastes just like a Chick-fil-A chicken sandwich. Um, just saying. Um, this starts the pickles right here. This is my relish. It is a recipe from the Ball Candy Book of Home Preserving. It is delicious. We love it. I have about seven of, I guess they're about three quarter pints, um, almost a pint left of these. Um, and that will last us through the rest of the year. And it's so, so, so delicious. Um, on to oh, my canning mat made by one of my dear friends, Alicia, over at Country Mama Musing. I love it. It's right here at the front because I use it constantly. 
Going up, now we have my wall of pickles. Because if you followed us um, over the summer, you know that our cucumber plants did amazing. So I have all different um, slices. I did some holes. I did some chips. Um, I did some, I get, they're not bread and butter style, but you know, the little sandwich stackers or whatever they're called. That, um, I did some more of the chunks. Chunks, and I know I have, oh, there's more holes. And these are all the quarts of them, and I did the same thing for the pints as well. Um, there are some, oh, I guess that's kind of one of the chunks when I did the chunks. Um, but I also did Chinese noodle beans in the pickling sauce. I did zucchini and squash in my pickle marinade. I did my jalapenos. I did some of our asparagus and some of our bell peppers I pickled um, because I'm bougie and I love a good charcuterie board and these are perfect for charcuterie board. So I am set on pickle stuff. It will last us the year um, and it all looks really good. Right back in the corner is all of my dehydrated stuff and meals in a jar. So like I have dehydrated some Chinese noodle beans and some of our green beans. Um, and that is my homemade um, mashed potato powder. And I did a potato soup for a video. Um, you know, my friend Leanne over at the Mennonite Farmhouse um, invited me to soup timber and that was my soup timber. But all of these are sealed too, so they'll last up to 10 years sealed. Here's a potato casserole. Back there, I got um, some of my dehydrated tomatoes. I'm trying to think, oh, macaroni and cheese. So these are all of my kind of meals in a jar and um, my um, milk powder, because I love my milk powder, love it. Here is some of our pumpkin from last year. Um, we have only a couple pumpkins growing this year because it didn't do that great this year. Um, but this is our pumpkin, and now we're on to the tomato sauce. Now, one of my batch, um, as you could tell, I cooked it a little hard, but my friends have said, don't, in case you don't throw it away, make it a mole or use it, you can still use it. This I water bath canned, and it turned out beautifully. This is from our tomatoes. Um, it is just such a pretty sauce, so I was very happy with that. Um, I got a couple quarts of is this the, yep, the beef bone broth and then the chicken bone broth. Uh, um, I'm doing some more broth over this weekend, so a lot of this will be moved around probably because I'll need to put more broth here. But this is one of my favorite little sections right here. This is my pie filling and pear filling, or apple pie filling and pear pie filling in a jar. All you have to do, y'all, it's so simple, is dump it into your... Um, pie crust and cook it. It is that simple. If you want to see me do a video on it, give this video a thumbs up and leave it in the comment that you want to see it. Um, some of them I also just did a little bit of the pears and mostly of the sauce. You can pour this over ice cream, um, over cakes. It's really good, really delicious, and it's homegrown stuff. Ah! All right, we're going up now to more of our, um, I did some of my peppers in the tomato sauce. So this is more of a spicier sauce. It's so delicious, so good. Um, I am just, uh, I was very impressed with how the tomatoes did this year, but I did learn that I'm definitely gonna have to grow some more because um, I don't know if the tomato sauce will last us the whole year. We'll see. Um, I've got some jars of our diced tomatoes. Here are some salsas. I think it's, it's a two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve salsas. Um, I'm uh, very protective over my salsa, so I probably am going to have to do some more. Um, I still have some frozen tomatoes in there, so I may do another batch of uh, salsa because we love us uh, some salsa. Um, this right here I've talked about in videos. It's the wing sauce from the Ball Book of Can Preserve or Home Preserving. It is so delicious. I use it like as a barbecue sauce. Um, it is so, so, so good, and I did it in the last um, Chance Cook-Off, um, the barbecue uh, collab that I did, and that this is the sauce that I used. So delicious. Um, this is a cowboy marinade, so it is just like cowboy candy, but it's just the marinade for it, and I like to pour it over cream cheese, and it's delicious. Speaking of jellies, we're now up to my jelly section. I have some pepper jelly right here. 
Next is what I call my autumn jelly. Um, it's very flavorful. It's a lot of um, cinnamons and um, nutmeg and that kind of stuff. It's absolutely delicious. Um, right here, um, I canned some fig and pear jam. And I think all of that is the fig and pear jam right here. And then right next to it is just the pear jam. And then this I did last year. If y'all have followed me, you know I did some jelly, a uh, grape jelly, and it didn't really turn out. And so I, you know, reheated it, tried to fix it, open it up, still didn't set. So we're keeping this as grape syrup. You can add it to like um, a little popsicle tray and make popsicles out of it. I love it. I actually like to put it on uh, top of pancakes too. So this is wonderful. I'm glad to have the nine, um, nine little, uh, I guess half pints that we have of it. Great stuff. Huh? Now, right over here are all of my beans that I've done so far. Now I'm doing more green beans. I have a ton of green beans in the freezer. I know it messes up their consistency, but they've got to get out of my freezer and they must be canned. <laughs> um, so here are some green beans. I have some of the pinto beans that I've canned. It's just convenient for me to open up and uh, dump. I do have down here, so they're over here somewhere that I'll show you next, of my five um, gallon totes that have the dried beans in it. But this is what I'm calling my chili beans, and I mix black beans and pinto together, and I dump this in my chili. I will be using this very soon because I want to be canning some chili to go down here. But that is my canning stuff so far. Of course, I have all my canning pots and stuff. I'm saving egg cartons for when we start our chickens at the beginning of the year, and the pickle jars up there so I can start water glassing my eggs. Um, down here is where I have a small amount of potatoes and um, sweet potatoes, butternut squash from my friend Monica and my candy roasters. I'm going to be getting wood chips so that it doesn't get too moist in there. And then I have my five gallon totes of white rice, all purpose flour, sizzle white sugar. Over here is the black beans and bread flour. So that is my canning room kind of tour in here. Oh my gosh, I'm so in love, y'all. I am just so in love. All right, y'all, thank you so much for stopping in the kitchen and my pantry. If you enjoyed these type of videos, if you're enjoying pantry tours, make sure to give this video a thumbs up and go ahead and like and subscribe and hit the bell icon so you know that anytime that new content drops to my channel. I'm doing a video a day this whole entire week, so I hope you're enjoying that. Also, make sure to check out our Instagram and our Facebook, at Ormsby Farm. I post there daily. Till next video, y'all be blessed. I'm coming home.